Oh, nine, nine, nine. M of late. M was right. All place for relaxing is now taken. This is many unfairs. M paid for this vacation. M won a place. This place is perfect. Is far from crowd and shade too. Germany has reserved this by leave towel. But who cares? He's not here. Oh, no. <laughs> Looks, a place for free. It has Tau. Germany probably just forgot about it. <laughs> oh no, Baltic bros, don't fall for it. This was oddly kind of horrifying. The rectangle has striked again. Love all the small details like the EU watching over the pool, Luxembourg being tiny, and Denmark and Sweden racing. Then there's whatever the hell Bulgaria is doing at the bottom of the pool. You might have just given me nightmares. Gib rightful clay. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Russia, stop it! Shuts it. You gets the same if in my way. Do it. W what? Do it. I freaking dare you. Yeah, I think Russia has learned the hard way to never underestimate tiny Lithuania. They might be small, but they have big cojones. Basically, Lithuania has banned certain Russian goods through rail to get to Kaliningrad, the small territory that Russia controls that isn't connected to the rest of Russia. The Lithuanians have straight up gone demon mode, and the Russians are not too happy about that. Yeah, and since Lithuania is in NATO, this makes it a little scarier. I'm very glad you're letting me help you with military intelligence. My plan is very simple. First, under the cover of night, you slip in from behind. Then you make the deep flank from- I, I don't know if I can keep up this southern accent. Deep thrust into their flank. Deep. I don't think I would have gone with the southern accent if I knew where this comic was gonna go. Once you have them with your pants down, just hammer them over and over and over again. <laughs> Now this is the best part. Yep, yeah, yeah, now I'm just gonna skip over that panel. I really freaking missed this. All the while Ukraine just looks on in horror. Yeah, I think America here just really misses war or something. Yeah, after Iraq, America's kind of going through withdrawals. This be gross. You is need to be ashamed. Sorry, says Canada, looking at their pineapple pizza. What Tashi is think is gross and concerned about health. What? This is only half a serving. I is think I vomit. Where is you learn cook? Well, responds Australia. To be a good cook, you just need to put random ingredients. Wow, you're such a good cook. This was their father, their British ball, teaching them about that. Oh, because these are all former car Colonies, Canada, America, and Australia. That's where we get our weird food from. It's their fault. Eating beans for breakfast. How could they? I'm just kidding. I, I've actually always wanted to try that. Fairy bread, which is what Australia had at the end. Don't look that random. I mean, it's literally just bread and sugar. How can you go wrong with this? Oh, they're old family recipes. My omen of death is the old shuck. It is said whoever witnesses the old ghostly dog by the coast will perish at the end of the year. Well, my omen of death is the bania. Something about she washes clothes clothes and then you you die? What? Yeah, washes the clothes of those about to die. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna have some nightmares tonight. What about you, old chap? Do you have any interesting creatures that represent an omen of death? Well, do doppelgangers count as interesting? Oh, hey, you look the same as me. I'm actually a fetch. You're going to die soon. Feck. I guess that's interesting. Ireland, good job, buddy. I do really love that Ireland is forced to carry the Northern Ireland hat on their head the whole time. I really thought that end panel was gonna make an Ivory Coast joke. That English omen of death, the old shuck, isn't that scary? I mean, it's scary, don't get me wrong, but for some reason, I'm just not afraid of dogs. But as for Ireland, this fetch folklore saying that, I guess, citing a fetch as regarded as an omen usually means impeding death. That's scary because according to you guys, the amount of times you've posted my doppelganger on my subreddit, I've apparently seen my fetch like thousands of times. Guess this folklore ain't so scary after all. The Irish do have something called a banshee, though. Kazik cannon to bricks, even though is of brick. They say they're looking for more well-rounded candidates. <laughs> Well, if you have neighbors like mine, you will also be edgy all the time, responds an Israel cube. I see your point. Non-round countries like us must stick together, says a Singapore. Together, we form the four skin nations. Oh. Anyways, we have Singapore, Kazakhstan, Israel, and Nepal. That That is an acronym for skin, I see. And they all happen to not follow the country ball rule. They break the rule. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Roar. Remove foreskin, remove foreskin. Re foreskins is of haram. Foreskin not allowed. Roar. As they all run away, yeah, not all these countries are pro, uh, 
I'm, I'm not even gonna say it. That was actually really clever. Although I am confused about Israel being here. Anyone else want to see this alliance in action? We have the Roman Empire controlling Crimea in the first century BC. I forgot they did kind of get all the way over there, didn't they? We have Byzantium controlling them in 657. The Ottomans controlling them in 1520. The Russians controlling them in 1783. The Soviet Union in 1925. Ukraine in 1991. But wait, that's right, 2014, Russia got them back. Crimea, I is here to save you. Click. Why he kill himself? I love how shocked they look on their face. Yeah, Crimea has had quite the history, being controlled by a bunch of different powers. Oh, and of course, don't forget about the Mongolians either. Who was oppressed by UK more? Well, man, it was obviously me, responds the Irish. No, I was more oppressed, says Scotland. No, UK stole my potatoes. We were in war for a long time. He stole my land. All the while, whales with their popcorn, and England just cries. Is that what the Isle of Man does? He just kind of instigates things? Kind of like this little ball of chaos surrounded by these four others. Never underestimate the great Isle of Man to cause controversy. Yeah, I guess you could say they are united in this way. It's great to finally have you at this meeting of our grand military alliance. Welcome, Japan. There's just this funny feeling I can't shake. I just don't know what it is. I just can't put my finger on it. Oh uh, yeah, I guess we should probably ask around the room. Japan, you got any ideas? How about you, Germany? Italy, you want to chime in? Why do I feel like these three sound so familiar together? Maybe just because they're all three famous car manufacturers or something? I guess Japan is about to attend their first NATO summit. Look at that. The gang's all here. Weird because Hungary, Romania, and Bulgaria are in NATO too. My function is to fight the Soviets. My function is to beat the U.S. Navy, my function is to hold the gothic line. Yeah, I just kind of vibe, I guess. Good old Bulgaria down there, just chilling. They're definitely the most sentient. Welcome to the great race of fastest countries on Earth. The winner will get $1 trillion, 20 billion barrels of crude oil, and a lifetime supply of rare earth metals. And of course, lifelong bragging rights about how awesome they are. Zoom! That's all America needed to hear, and boom, they were gonna win that race. They literally could care less about all this stuff right here. They just want to be able to talk about how great they are. Here's an alternative ending, but this time the winner gets a properly stamped document. <laughs> I think Germany's on the Autobahn now. They know all about the no speed limit thing. Why these countries be like, I am the speed. Happy reunification day. I once again would like to compliment every recent unified couple. Hey Germany, what are you doing? I will make sure she won't leave again. Ja, you keep partying while we conclude some business. Good, now leave the couple to reunify, says France. Ah, oh, damn, gotta take a dump. This must be the bathroom. Anybody in here? <laughs> You Europeans are into some weird kinky stuff. Oh, shut up, you prude. Yes, I remember when West Germany had to suck the blood of the East to keep them alive. It was kind of weirdly vampiric in a way. That's probably also what they did to Austria during the Auschwitz. Eating crab, sin. Eating pig, sin. Eating beef, reduce your karma. And reduce karma mean you cannot into higher caste. And also you cannot moksha. The point is it complicated. <laughs> yeah, Hindu sin is just a whole nother breed. So is it like social credits? Hey, Portugal. I was wondering if you want to participate in the Summit of America this year because I'm hosting it. No. What? But it's gonna be so cool! Like, it's me directing everything and stuff. Mm, voice? No, we haven't been getting along very well since you changed your mind about that change really cut me down in our relationship. Oh, oh, something about probably cutting down the Amazon. I bet you're just scared you won't be the star of the show, but come on! There's going to be economics and cool American deals! Okay, but... Only with one thing. Every time someone talks about the Amazon or environmental protection, you'll have to give me five dollars. Sure, I don't care about stupid forests anyways. Later that day. <laughs> How did they get so rich overnight, says Argentina? It's that simple, Argentina. Just gotta get yourself an Amazon rainforest. I guess there actually was a summit of Americas that took place. One of the main points was to preserve the environmental world. And that's the tale of the Kraken, says Norway. You expect us to believe that? Says the back of this Swedish ball. You don't have to. At your own risk. Boat starts shaking. Ah! Polly crap is the Kraken! Told you it's real! Ciao, fellow Europeans. Do you know the way to Italia, says this Venice ball? Or should I say Venice octopus? What is the term for the Venice country ball? Quite possibly one of my favorite flags of all time because it has these random strips. I've been so close to buying a Venice flag, but unfortunately the only way you can get them is in like regular rectangle form. They don't do them with these strips. Or at least normally they don't. But if they do, then I don't even know how I'm supposed to hang this thing up either. Ah yes, the merchant monster. It is a busy night in hell.
hell. Attention, citizens of hell. We would like to inform you that we are starting to recruit for the position of imp. Well, Poland, that was pathetic, but we do have an opening for janitor job 23-7. One day of vacation for five years of work. Hurrah! Biggest Poland dream and best employer so far. Next. <sighs> Hello, I'd like to apply for a... Position for an imp, uh, let me demonstrate how I uh, adhere to sin of my choice. That shan't be necessary. We've reserved all positions of gluttony imp of use before. <sighs> Actually, I come here for a different position. And this pie here is of vital importance to my performance. Observe. <laughs> So good. Oh, he just became the imp for lust. Oh, I just realized what he did. <laughs> or at least I think I did. I really didn't need that image in my head. And big thanks to the patrons. My name's Joe Biden. I love being Joe Biden. Diary of a wimpy kid, the catfish. Drew's Argentinian grandpa. Fat nuts. A fat normal. W, Bring back Poland ball. Luxembourg Cowboys lover, 83. Jakov, Bruni, Marco Hindera, Max Cooper. Orton, five, Philip six, ten, Robert E. Rye the, the Mexican 7 Why am I doing this? William the Conqueror. And Subare N.